This is a short video to explain the best evidence in emergency medicine, or BEAM project. BEAM. Evidence-based medicine worth spreading. What is BEAM? It is a knowledge translation and dissemination project. It was started in 2005 by Dr. Andrew Worcester of McMaster University, the home of evidence-based medicine. The BEAM project provides up to 12 hours of high-quality, clinically relevant continuing medical education. It has no, that is right, no financial or other affiliations with any commercial organization. The mission is to provide emergency medicine practitioners with the best clinical evidence to optimize patient care. Our mission is to be the most valid, reliable, and unbiased global source of current, clinically relevant, patient-centered medical knowledge for practitioners. But there's a knowledge translation problem. There are leaks in the system which prevent patients from getting the best care. This was beautifully illustrated by Dr. Pathman's leaky pipe model describing seven possible leaks. It can take an average of 10 years for high quality clinically relevant evidence to reach the patient's bedside. Optimal patient outcomes require decisions based upon the best evidence. A solution to the leaky pipe problem is BEAM. You are a busy clinician, and there is a mountain of papers published every day. BEAM, the best evidence in emergency medicine, can help. Like I said, there is a mountain of articles published every day, approximately 3,000. BEAM, via the Health Information Research Unit at McMaster University, screens electronic databases of about 200 journals each month. While most articles do not make it past this point, 10 to 20 articles are emergency medicine related. These articles are then organized into SurveyMonkey. The survey includes the title of the paper and the author's conclusion. A 7-point Likert scale is used to rate the manuscript from 1, useless information, to 7, a must-know for emergency physicians. The 10 to 20 emergency medicine articles are then sent monthly to over 100 BEAM raters. These are frontline emergency doctors just like you. Raters are asked to assume that the results of the article are valid. They are then asked to rate clinically how important the paper is to their own practice. Again, many articles do not make it past this stage. Only those highly rated papers are appraised by the BEAM faculty. Standardized EBM tools are used to create a critical appraisal and a BEAM bottom line. These critical appraisals are then provided to you so you can provide your patients with the best care. Now what is this evidence-based medicine? Some people think it's just about randomized control trials and systematic reviews. However, EBM is about much more than just the research. It's about increasing patients' choices, not decreasing them. EBM looks at A, the patient's individual needs, B, the doctor's clinical experience, and C, the relevant literature on the subject. It is where these three things overlap that you get the best evidence-based medicine. There is a hierarchy to evidence-based medicine. BEAM tends to look at the highest forms of evidence. These come from large randomized clinical control trials and systematic reviews like the Cochrane database of systematic reviews. So why BEAM? Well remember it screens that mountain of literature for you electronically to identify the emergency medicine related topics. Then it asks you, the BEAM rater, to identify practice-relevant publications. We are not aware of any other continuing medical education product that seeks pre-appraisal input from the frontline emergency medicine provider. Well, BEAM is all about evidence-based medicine. 
So we've actually researched and published on our process. Beam has the only validated tool that rates audiences prior to their emergency medicine CME. This process, which Beam developed, can filter the data and distinguish the signal from all that noise to find those few practice changing articles. Beam faculties are leaders in evidence-based medicine research. We publish our critical appraisals and other research in the world's leading peer-reviewed emergency medicine journals. Beam has award-winning faculty members as well. They have received national teaching awards based upon their work in evidence-based medicine and knowledge translation. Beam members hold other important faculty positions and chair positions. These include teaching faculties for evidence-based medicine courses, evidence-based medicine section chairs in leading emergency medicine societies, chair of a national guideline standards committee, and even a chair of an emergency medicine department. In fact, Beam faculty wrote the book on evidence-based medicine. Literally wrote the book. They have authored multiple textbooks and chapters about the practice of EBM. This includes the most recent textbook called Evidence-Based Medicine Care, Diagnostic Testing and Clinical Decision Rules. BEAM is global. It has presented its high quality, clinically relevant information around the world, including Australia, Europe, the Middle East, Caribbean, Mexico, and the United States. There are no heights and no depths that BEAM will not go to to deliver you the best possible evidence so you can provide your patients with the best possible care. Interested in BEAM? Want to know more about the best evidence? Want to stay up to date on the literature? Don't want to read 3,000 articles a day to find that one practice changing article? Well then consider coming to one of our upcoming conferences at Sun Peaks, British Columbia, Hamilton, Ontario, or Stockholm, Sweden. We cover all the emergency medicine topics from pediatrics all the way to infectious disease and everything in between. For more information about BEAM, please contact Teresa Valera. You can email her info at beamsite.com. You can check out our website for more information, like us on Facebook, and follow Beam on Twitter. And remember, Beam wants to provide you with the best evidence so you can provide your patients with the best care.